Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Binique Doll. This is part two of Aguascalientes. And if you don't follow me by now, go ahead and follow me on my TikTok and on my Snapchat and Instagram. I'll go ahead and put the links down below in the description box. So after my little swim, I went ahead and toured the hotel a little bit more. And you guys, I am just so obsessed with this hacienda aesthetic that this hotel has. As you guys can tell, I just feel like, I don't know, Vicente Fernandez was gonna pop out of the nowhere. Then finally at midnight, Steven landed in Aguascalientes. He took a taxi from the airport to the hotel. And then of course we had to order some tacos because it's a must if you're in Mexico. We then went ahead and explored the hotel a little bit more. He hadn't seen it, so I was just showing him around. This was also his first time in Aguascalientes. After a while of just strolling around, we decided we were tired and so we headed back to our room. Um, at first we were just hanging around with my sister and her husband in the room that they had booked in the same hotel. But this is the room that Steven and I booked, um, actually he did, but I'm just going to give you guys a little tour here. I loved these little mirror doors, I love mirrors. And this was our restroom. It had a little mini jacuzzi. FYI, we did not use it. If you guys know me, you guys know that I'm a germ freak. Hi. Um, but yeah, this was the room. I love how antique it feels. And also, you guys, I am surprised I was able to sleep because look how creepy this little portrait looks. I honestly didn't even think about it twice because I was super tired and I just crashed out. The next morning I woke up and I got to do my makeup in this cute little restroom, you guys. As you guys can tell, it's given antique vibes. This is a hotel, this is how it looks from the outside. As you guys can tell, it looks like an hacienda. Um, this is the lobby we were getting ready to check out and head out to the mall. But first we went ahead and went to a coffee shop. This is actually Starbucks in Mexico. I have so many friends that were like, what, there's Starbucks in Mexico? I'm like, girl, Mexico tiene de todo. If God permits, my goals are to retire in Mexico, either in Aguascalientes or Guadalajara. I feel it would be lovely to experience this slow paced life and kind of soak in what Mexico has to offer. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, for now, we are here sitting in this little table, enjoying the sun, enjoying this beautiful morning and um, drinking our coffee. This is a typical morning for these people and you guys look how beautiful everything is. Even the dog looks happy. I don't know you guys, pero que bonito es lo bonito. If you guys know, you know. I don't know, but Aguascalientes definitely left me speechless with their architectural beauty. I mean, you guys, look how beautiful everything is. I can't get enough of it. We then headed to the shopping center and they had so many cute handmade stuff. I'm sure the frijoles taste different when served in one of these. I saw a viejito selling some hats, so I went ahead and tried them on. They were all super cute. I went ahead and purchased only two. Can you guys guess which ones?
We then decided to go over to the Jardín de San Marcos. This is a little plaza that's in front of the shopping center. As you guys can tell, it was raining, so it made it a lot more magical. The good thing was that Steven was prepared with a rain poncho. Um, as you guys can tell, he let me borrow it and I was super happy because it wouldn't stop raining. After the jardin, we went back to the mall to shop around for one last time. And of course, you guys know that guys don't like to shop around with us. So my fiance, my little nephew, stayed back sitting in a coffee shop. And here we are walking towards the Terminal de Bases. While we were waiting for our bus, we noticed that there was a viejito in the Terminal cleaning boots. So my little nephew decided to take advantage of it. And you guys, look how cool this is. He was so amazed by it. And this is exactly how we ended our trip to Aguascalientes. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And also follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already do so. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.